Hey guys, and welcome to a tutorial video. Today I'm going to be going over how to install the Weather 2 beta for 1.18 and configure it because a lot of people do not know that you can actually configure the mod. And, um, but before, before we get into that, I just want to let you guys know that as of right now, all of this is not added in the mod. So this will be coming into the mod at one point. At the time of recording this, only the beta is out, not the full version. Um, and for those of you guys that played this mod on release, you guys would know that the storms were moving at light speed. So if you guys are still having that issue, it's because you guys don't have the latest hotfix installed. Which, if you go right here uh, to four days ago, um, just click on this, this link right here. Um, I'll leave a link to all of this in the description below, but I just want to let you guys know. So once you download this link, I'm not going to do it, um, or download this file. I'm not going to do it because I already have it installed. Um, you download this, and then you go down to the curl util, and then you go to the 1.18.1 right here, and also down the download this one I'll leave a dis, uh, link to this in the description as well and then you get out of that and get out of that then what you want to do is um, depending on what you guys use um, like if you guys use the the vanilla Minecraft launcher then what you're gonna want to do is percent app data percent uh, then you're gonna want to click on Minecraft now, depending on if this is your first time using the mod, um, you might not have, uh, what to call it, the config here yet with the weather s system um, in there accessible. But there's two ways that you can actually access the config. I'm going to show you guys both ways. But um, if you guys don't have um, any, any of this files or this file, what I'd recommend is you create a mods folder, which you just simply go... Um, Click, right click um, over here, then go new, then click on folder, and then just name it mods, and then just hit enter. And then I would uh, recommend that you guys launch the game, but make sure that you drag those two files that I had you download a minute ago, and you put them both in here. I have like 20 billion mods, but that doesn't matter. Um, just, you just drag and drop those two mods that I told you guys to download a minute ago and put them right here in your mods folder. Then you click on this, then you hit play, but make sure it's Forge 1.18.2, not Optifine. Do not use Optifine. Apparently, Optifine is crashing people's games with this mod. So once you load this up for the first time, um, then you just exit out of the game, but make sure you load up a world and you're in there for a, at least a good, maybe like 10, 20 seconds. You don't have to be in there for a while. Then what you want to do is you go back to your Minecraft folder and you go to config and you should have the weather to here. And here is where all the config stuff is. Um, so for example, you want to double click that and go to here and, um, this is what I've changed so far is uh, ocean based storms to one and land based storms to one because by default it's on negative one and you don't want it on negative one. You want it to be on at least one at the bare minimum but you can put it up to like 12 or 14 depending on how many storms you you want. But um, yeah, this is uh, that's the only thing I recommend really changing right now through th at least this config. Um, because I've actually noticed sometimes it'll randomly reset and I'm not sure why, but, uh, yeah, whenever, but this is what I would recommend changing this one here and this one here and put them to one. And then when you're done, you hit save and then just close out. And then again, um, not all of this you can, I'm um, not all of this you can change because if you do, you will mess up the mod big time that's why I recommend just those two settings that I had but these are as you guys can tell all of the config uh, this is num the w first way of doing it and in my opinion the least appealing way of doing it and I'll show you guys the second one here 
in a second. Okay, so now we're loaded into the game, and um, something that I've seen a lot of people saying is that you cannot customize the config from in the game anymore, because as you guys know who have played 1.12, you know, you could um, use the, if you pause the game up here on the top, there would have been like a, a place where you can customize the mod and configure it and um, a lot of people are saying you can't do that with 1.18.2 and while that might be true with just the weather mod itself you actually still can do it from in game with the at least in the beta version you can do this right now um, now I'm gonna show you guys how to do that so if you go to mods and I will show you guys how to get this in the first place but I'm gonna show you guys really quick so quick mods and uh, let's look for configured. You need to make sure you have this in in your mods folder, which I'll give you guys a link and I'll show you guys where to get that as well. Now you go down to here, the weather two, and config. Now you'll see common configurations, misc, wind, particle, tornado, and snow, etc. Now you can modify this, go to general. Um, as you can see, uh, Lightning distance to player, lightning effect, uh, lifetime of fire. You got uh, player storm deadly odds to one. Mine's on 30, which I don't know if that's default or not. I can't remember. I'm assuming it is because this one is also on 30. But yeah, this is all stuff you can change. And honestly, if you're going to mess with the config, I would recommend you guys do this. Um, because this way here. If you screw something up, um, you can always just go back and literally hit uh, reset right here. Yeah, reset all. So if you mess something up, you can literally just reset the entire mod. Um, but yeah, this is this is what I'd recommend using. And you guys can um, mess with this as much as you guys want. I haven't really messed with the uh, config all that much to be able to tell you guys what the best settings are. Other than make sure you guys... Do what I said in the beginning where you make the uh, land based and ocean based storm is from negative one to at least positive one. So just put, get rid of the negative and just put the one there, leave the one there and then uh, hit save and then close out. Or you can do it this way, like, like it is here and then just back out and you are good. Okay, so um, that what you guys just saw, how I was configuring it. Well, in the game was this mod right here, which is also on Curse Forge. Uh, again, I'll leave a link to everything uh, down below. So you want to click on Files, and uh, I will make sure I put a link to all of this in the description below. Make sure you download um, the latest 1.18.2, preferably. Um, just click that, download, and then again, drag that into your mods folder that I had shown you earlier. And uh, yeah, that's how you guys uh, will be able to do this, configure it. Uh, this is not, um, it's optional as you guys can tell. You don't need to actually download that. But uh, the only downside is about configuring it this way um, in game is you cannot be in the world. You have to be in the game menus in order to be able to configure it, which is uh, kind of unfortunate, but I mean, it's better than having to just tab out the game completely or closing the game completely and having to do it through the uh, folders like I showed you the first time. But um, Koros did say that he had no intentions of re-adding the in-game uh, config option like before from 1.12. Uh, again, he might change his mind. He might add it. He might not. But that's how you guys install and configure the weather mod. Hopefully this was helpful to some of you guys. Again, do not use Optifine at all while using the weather mod. Because uh, for some reason it's crashing people's games. It's crashed mine. Now I haven't tested it in a server. If it'll crash you, like kick your game, kick you from a server or crash your game from in a server. I haven't tested that out yet. So if any of you guys have and it does work, then definitely let us know in the comments below. But hopefully this video was uh, useful to somebody out there. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And again, I said I'll leave all these links in the description below. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.